Welcome guys to Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods and in today's episode we're taking a look at the brand new Rolls Royce Ghost for 2015. This is a beautiful car as we mow down that sad pedestrian. Over here in blizzardy conditions we are driving the brand new Double R Ghost that is for 2015-16 season. Uh, let's go now take a look at what this car has for uh, to offer because this is one of the latest car mods that uh, has been released. So uh, overall the exterior looks phenomenal. You have the two-tone uh, color variation choice being that the hood and grille gets uh, a coloration uh, overhaul change uh, apart from the rest of the body giving it a second uh, sort of color option. Now the most impressive feature of this car by any means is the wheels. Take a look at the double R icons on the center of the wheels. Uh, they are located in all four wheels and uh, they don't move. Very similar and realistic uh, towards uh, the real life counterpart. In real life, the double R logos don't move in the center of the wheel and in Grand Theft Auto 5, of course, they don't move. This has been an amazing feat of uh, modding progress. Since uh, there is no car in the game that actually offers this kind of feature, it has been actually hard-coded by the mod developer himself. Very awesome stuff indeed. Now let's go take a, a look in the interior. You can see that the uh, dials are actually working dials. You can see the rev counter on the left hand side and the speed uh, speedometer on the right hand side. And most importantly, you have the indicators not working, which is a rather a disappointing feature because I knew that the indicators uh, did work in one of the cars that I installed, but not in the dashboard of this car, which is kind of disappointing. Although we have the double R head Rest logos, uh, very nice snake skin leather seats, and of course on the mirrors we have the turning signals. As you can see, the very impressive mirror signaling. Uh, we also have a signal over here, the front uh, signal, and also the sort of uh, rear. Uh, indicator to turn left is also flashing so we have three four four indicators uh, turning on for one side and of course it works on the other side as well beautiful conditions here in Los Santos it is currently blizzardy uh, so uh, we are getting a few frame rate drops I do believe it because I have a few settings in the advanced section a little bit uh, jabbed up I was mucking around and I forgot to uh, play them around so let's go over here and uh, whip it up to extremely sun Sunny, extra sunny as uh, we get a look at uh, the Royals Royce. It has extremely nice handling features or handling maneuvers as we go over here. A little bit off-road because we're stuck in traffic. This car is absolutely ginormous. I actually can put it, uh, put it against uh, the Phantom over here. Let's go spawn the Phantom. I do believe it is in Super now and actually no, it's uh, a sports car and it's a Banshee. Nope, it is not the Banshee. Alright, Super Bullet maybe? Yes, alright, it's the Bullet. Uh, I knew it was close somewhere. Uh, but nonetheless, here we go. Just back it up over here. Here's the Phantom. And uh, the new car that we're doing a review on is the Ghost. Uh, you can see the Ghost is a slightly more elegant and more newer version of the Royals Royce family. Although these cars are extremely massive. Uh, the ghost is actually a little bit bigger. I'm not quite sure if that's true in real life. I always thought the ghost was smaller, but nonetheless, I have never seen a ghost in real life, so what the hell do I know what I'm talking about? Uh, but nonetheless, it is an awesome car. Very awesome stuff indeed. Let's read what actually, actually it says over here. Um, I can't really decipher what it means over here, uh, but this is definitely the Royals Royce Ghost. 2016 model, I'm willing to say very nice indeed. Now let's go and spruce this car up, give it a nice little, uh, nice little update spruce. I'm not quite sure why am I getting uh, around about 59 frames, 54 frames, uh, which is kind of disappointing. I want that full 60. And there we go, we're touching 60 now, uh, which is kind of confusing on what is going on at the time. All right, let's go now. Uh, switch the car into a random paint job. Uh, you can see that uh, the hood actually changes the color as well. So you get yourself a rather nice looking uh, display of colors. Now, of course, I hate uh, all these colors. These colors are just 
die. That's just, especially if it's two-toned, um, it just gets a little bit too crazy and I never settle on a color using the paint random uh, sort of feature of this trainer. Uh, although, oh, pretty nice. Uh, it was a full same color. Alright, we'll just pick this color and again, terrible frame rate loss. I need to go go ahead and change these settings before I do the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been uh, the Rolls Royce Ghost uh, for Grand Theft Auto V. It uh, has a very nice, uh, I would say the best feature of this car is the unique feature of the non-spinning double R logos on all four wheels. Uh, we have the indicators on the side view mirrors and all around a beast car just to squish people really let's go overhead and squish the mollo of the people and uh give ourselves a nice big shock in frame rates although i do believe it actually has recovered now since all the i was gonna say um the frame rate loss was due to the blizzard uh, but it's still happening on extra sunny as i'm squishing people uh, so i may have to go ahead and switch over some anti-aliasing uh, settings all right, I think I've had my fun. fair share of fun here. What do you guys actually? Let's go right up to the end, squish these guys, and as you can see, we have the ghost uh, god mode on because you need the god mode on the ghost. Let's go turn it off and see what damage we can. Oh god, the police are coming for us! The police! The police! Ugh! Nasty, nasty, nasty! Let's see how mangled this car is after that nasty altercation. Um, not too bad. It's uh, the front is a little bit bumpy. Um, we're turning to the right as we see we got the uh, right indicator popping. Uh, but ooh, look at the left hand side, the rear left hand side is squashed. But uh, that pretty much covers the entire Rolls Royce Ghost. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave a like in the video that you have watched if you've wash it up to this far uh, thank you guys for watching and as always have a nice day right, we'll jump out of here and uh, deploy the parachute and away we go